Back for Black is a multiplayer survival horror game that was developed by Turtle Rock Studios, the creator of the critical acclaimed Laugh for Dead 2. With the same core mechanic and gameplay, the resemblance between two games are uncanny. The fight to the safe house and the special infected. Back for Blood used the card system where the enemy director used corruption card. This corruption card is modifier. Stronger enemies, more hazard, or a challenge for more reward. Player card, on the other hand, is how you build your character. A melee specialist, medic, or a runner is just the name of you. These cards can be obtained by gameplay, finishing level, or opening a container mid level. There is also a training mode where all the cards are unlocked and you can try to mix and match your player card. Weapons now have attachment, will improve your weapon stats, less recoil, more ADS, magnification, etc. etc. Now, there is a currency named copper, can be used at the safe house to buy weapons and other items. This synergizes well with building your own deck mechanic, because some cards only beneficial to some weapons. Now, every character has their unique passive, like a doctor who can heal better or or a guy who got damage boost when he kill a zombies with headshot or a guy that make your team can carry more ammo. Overall the mechanic seems a better departure having more actual progression and go to works towards too. Next I played on PS4 Slim, so far there are no slowdown nor frame drop. The animation is pretty bland, there is nothing to talk about. The sound, the gun, it isn't as punchy as it should be. It sounds muffled and when the chaos broke loose, you can feel the gun is really really underwhelming. And lastly, while everything is mediocre fun, the problem I hate the most is how the game handles controller. The aiming feels really floaty, I can't hit my shot at all, even though FPS is pretty much the game that I play. I even start to doubt myself am I actually really that bad at playing FPS? So, I'm gonna give this game. The control is so bad, I question my existence out of 10. Yes, the control was that bad. Before you finally find the settings, the control was that bad. It's just more progression left for dead without its polish. Still fun though. While the game is bland, but maybe it was worth chaotic fun killing zombies with a friend. Or shoot your friend in the back while you're at it. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs>